And then there's been all these attacks in Russia, which, you know, again, if this was just a Ukraine versus Russia war, of course, Ukraine, you know, there's nothing wrong with them striking inside Russia. But there was a group of neo-Nazis, like literal neo-Nazis that are they were actually Russians who've been fighting for Ukraine. They're called the Russian Volunteer Corps. Hmm. They attacked Russia inside Belgorod, the region that borders Ukraine, with mm-hmm. American weapons, with American armored vehicles and NATO rifles like it's crazy that we're at this point now. I mean, you can't, because we always try to put the shoe on the other foot, you know, when we're talking about this stuff, say, oh, how would we feel if Russia had a military base in Canada or something? But, like, you can't imagine if neo-Nazi, Canadian neo-Nazis invaded the U.S. with Russian weapons. Like, we can't even fathom that. Like, right. It's just, we're just so far. And it's like, I can't believe that we're here, you know, looking back just a year or two ago, like, I didn't think things would get this bad, but... No kidding. I mean, this yeah. is where we're at. I mean, at what point does Russia just like come out and say like we're at war with the United States? Like, I, I, I don't understand h- how we're still tiptoeing around this, considering how much aid we've sent to them, considering there are Americans on the ground there, even if it's of their own volition. Like, um, yeah. Well, and, and, I, and I've seen that you guys uh, ran this article, Dave, uh, about the depleted uranium rounds. Mm-hmm. So it's been kind of, you know, like we all know they've been used. And we're the primary source of them globally. Uh, you know, if there's a war zone and we're there and they're being used, we probably supplied them. But there's about to be a White House edict. Like, this is about to be in writing from command mm-hmm. that we're sending DU rounds over there. This is a flagrant international act of war, which merits any response. Yeah. Yeah. And that's the, the British already sent them, you know, officially. And the U.S. probably already sent them with the Bradley fighting vehicles. They they didn't say, like, the White House was asked about it, and they refused to say. But, yeah, you're right. Now it looks like it's going to be official sending them there with the Abrams tanks. And DU, you, you know, there's kind of all this, like, U.S. government-funded research that tries to downplay how bad the depleted uranium is. But if you just look at Iraq, where the U.S. used a ton of that stuff in the Gulf, both in the Gulf War and, you know, after the invasion, cancer rates just spiked because uh, it is radioactive. It's not as radioactive as enriched uranium but it's still slightly radioactive and it basically poisons the land and there's still birth defects in fallujah today like it's really horrific there's a hospital that has a twitter account that posts the babies that come out totally deformed and then they die within like a day or two oh yeah well and and you can just search for fallujah babies and that's yeah that's a real thing now of course the you know the hair lip or cleft lip whatever the proper term is you know that was always kind of like an issue in iraq and a lot of third world countries uh, but beyond that, there's some stuff, there were some deformities that were not there before we arrived. Mm-hmm. You would yeah, think that Biden of all people would know about uh, weapons that give people cancer. Yeah, that's think. true. You would think. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's, it, it's <laughs> almost like he doesn't ever think about it or doesn't care at all. It's, you know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, it's interesting because for a while he didn't say that, at least... That, I didn't think he said that his son was killed, you know, because he served in Iraq. Mm. Um, but lately he, that he has been saying that, you know, cause it's always been suspected that it was like the burn pits. Yeah. Um, I remember some like Iraq veterans confronted him when he was running. I don't know if you guys saw this video when he was running for president. Um, he was confronted by some Iraqi veterans and said, Oh, you sent, you know, you, you lied us into this war and our friends died. And he's like, my son died. And he, they were like, mm. oh, like they didn't know what to say to him. They're like, oh, yeah, I guess he did. Yes, he did. It's kind of, yeah. yeah, it's crazy. It is crazy. Yeah, it's just crazy that someone who's so close to, like, who's had such a personal impact from war is is still completely okay with with prolonging war and keeping that going, knowing full well, like, the pain and suffering that he and his wife and their whole family, like, went through. Um, after their son died, like that's just crazy to me. I can't, I can't fathom that. It's almost like it's the source of his wealth or something. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs>